Assalamu alaikum everyone uh, welcome to the next vlog in this vlog I'm trying to tell you guys the mistakes of the beginners plus uh, the points that every beginner must know uh, so this is the game which I have played against a new player where I was telling him about the basics of the chess so this is the game that we played and later on uh, I have told him some lessons that he must know before playing the game so in this game you have seen that it is it was a scholar mat and uh, the opponent was totally surprised at how it has gotten done so the lesson begins now i have asked my fellow that which piece is the strongest so he said that the queen and the second question i asked is which one is the second most powerful he said that rooks he was quite known towards the pieces uh, capabilities but uh, there are some technical terms that uh, he wasn't aware of so I start telling him that the queen is having nine points because of his strength and next one is the rooks having five five points plus the rook uh, sort of bishop and the knight have three three points later on I, I told him that uh, the pawns are having one point one point and among the pawns we are having four strongest pawns those uh, that covers the whole center of the game according to the books they say that Pawn on e, f, and c file are the strongest because it covers the center and allows the path of queen and the bishop inside the game. Having four weak pawns, which are a, b, g, and h files. Now we play the e4. Why do we play the e4 in order to open the path of the bishop and the queen inside the game? If we play the b file pawn or the h file pawn on that time it would be less effective according to the computer also and we do see the writing that it only opens the bishop path only for two squares that doesn't cover the center so that's why these four pawns are the strongest now we are moving to the next lecture which is the center so all the fight of the chess is for the center to cover the center in order to have uh, advantage of attack plus defense from their opponent if you attack the center before your opponent does, you will have more chance of winning as compared to your opponent. Furthermore, as a white, we have to be careful that the center should be covered and we must not go to the defensive state. The opponent plays e5 to cover the d and f file. Furthermore, we will play the bishop on c4 to cover a pole line and furthermore activating the bishop furthermore if we act we can act with the queen we can act with the knight which could be possibly the best moves according to the engine now we shall see that our path is totally open now i'm telling about the castling that if the path between the rook and the kings are open we can move our king and rook their passes shall be exchanged to activate the rook for end making the king safe we do the castle in order to make our king secure and the rook inside the game as i mentioned later on we can play the knight we can play the d3 to open the black bishop path to play the game in a better way as the beginners do not activate their materials and start capturing the pieces inside the opening section of the game so we do see that our knight is inside the game bishop and the black bishop is a little bit closed and now we could open that like this we can do a better planning and defend our king from checkmate furthermore we can have further plannings to pass on the game if we don't do these things and if we are not taking care of that we shall have a worse position as compared to the opponent now we play the bishop why do we play the bishop is equally to pin the knight if the knight moves we shall capture the queen this is the process is called pinning when the piece cannot move now if your opponent plays the h pawn you can go back and again have the pin strategy and if he furthermore pushes the pawn to the center we can have our bishop on the center of the three pawns that faces the king furthermore the bishop will have better square as compared to the opponent furthermore our game would be a better state now 
if the opponent pushes the center of the king's pawn, it will make the defense of the king weaker as compared to the opponent's one. And it would lead the opponent to think a lot how to save the king and attack the opponent. There are many options that we could play. Now we think that the same thing a black can apply on you, the same strategy of pinning your own knight. So we, as we know the planning, we push off our own the next pawn to stop his plan. When the opponent moves the d5 pawn, we know his intention and we play what? We play the h5 pawn on h3 that stops the bishop to get pin our knight. As you see, the bishop retreated back. Now, if the bishop retreats back to the e6 file, it is also a good move because if our white square bishop captures, the palm shall capture and the path of rook shall be opened. So, due to this reason, we can bring our knight back inside the game to make our state of attack in a better position. Several things can be done in this game. Now we do see that the knight is inside the center of the game and capturing most of the scares of your opponent. And we are a better position. We do see that our position is quite better as compared to placing your game without any strategy, without any planning. We have to see that the king will be, queen will be, sorry, inside the e file pa e file square or the d file square and the rooks will have a complete path and when the rook are facing each other we call this the development is completed the development must be completed before we attack your opponent or before we do anything else because it will make our game into a better position we shall meet you in the next video, so take care of yourself and have a nice time. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.